All right, so I'm here on the floor of the 2023 Munich show, and I have this great piece printed in the background. And when you see a killer piece like this, you know it's gotta be from a company like Fine Art Minerals. So let's go on in there and let's see if we can find Gulam Mustafa to see what they brought to the show today. Let's go. One of the first things when you come down the aisle is you see this fantastic banner that you have up here with a lot of the just incredible pieces that they brought out to market and certainly easy to find them. And then right down underneath, you've just got one incredible case after incredible case with just fabulous minerals in it. Um, the things that Fine Art Minerals is so well known for. And this is the man himself. Hey, Brian. Mustafa, how are you doing, brother? Not too bad. Good to see you, buddy. After, you know, San Marie, it's a great pleasure to have you here in Munich. Well, it is great yeah. to see you. Your booth looks fantastic. Thank you very much. And, you know, as always, your minerals are exceptional. I appreciate that, Brian. You know, every time I try to put the colors, contrast, quality, and I think it takes me hours and hours, like, you know, whole day yesterday, half day today, and you've been just, you know, watching me Absolutely. moving around the pieces to make sure that the display looks fabulous, as great as possible. I do my best, you know, so I hope the viewers liked it as well. Well, I mean, that's one thing that I've been kind of documenting here a little bit. Right. It's the work that goes on behind the scenes. Absolutely. In yeah. prepping all the booths right. for the public to come in and see things. Yes. And it's not so easy. It's a lot of work. And you guys are doing it right, and it looks absolutely wonderful. You know, when you see the cases, Brian, I think it looks like great. But honestly, I can tell you, it needs a lot of time and energy because, you know, you want to put the colors in a way that it looks great. You know, yep. the pink with the purple, purple with the blue, blue with the green. You know, it needs a lot of time. But at the end, you know, the great thing is when you put the energy and time and when you see the viewers complimenting a lot, that's what it's all about. You know, I hear that's you. the hard work reward paid off, you know, so 100 percent. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's go down here. Let's start at this first case. Sure. And yeah. uh, we've got a few pieces that uh, we're going to want to take a look at. Yes, of course. Yeah. As you know, Brian, you know, every year we are coming with some new stuff and, you know, it's very important for, you know, for the viewers, for the customers that they come up and then see some great things. You know, this year we brought some fabulous tomlins from uh, Paparokwali, Afghanistan, you know, Nuristan province. If I may just start with this... Uh, Fabulous three crystals of bicolor tourmaline sitting right on a beautiful matrix of Clevelandite and with smoky quartz. I think uh, what you can see is an incredible luster on the top of these tourmaline. Oh, they're just glassy, glassy, glassy. Super glassy. And if I may put a little bit of light oh, so yeah. you can see the color. I love the zoning of the green on top with the pink and then sitting right on the Clevelandite with the pink lepidolite. And the smoky quartz, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Great color combination, yeah. beautiful crystals there. And look at the luster on the top, it's just truly remarkable. You see it? Yeah, that's yeah. so glassy. Yeah. And I just, I love the subtle kind of, exactly. uh, you know, pastel hues of that. Right. And that green termination to set up yeah. the pink body yeah. is just superb. And the matrix, you know, the contrast of the pink lepidolite, white albite with the quartz, I think it makes it looks really, really that super That little static. extra splash of color. In right, there. exactly. Just, yeah. Mm, superb. So this was one of the new tourmaline that we recently got. So did and that then, come out recently or was yeah, that from a collection? Yeah, it was from uh, last year's production actually, you know, because you know, Papro of Nuristan Valley, you can only work three or maximum four months there because of the high attitude and the snow. Talking about the tourmaline, the next tourmaline new find that we have is again from Paprok Valley, Nuristan province, Afghanistan, this beautiful indiclite tourmaline sitting again with lipidolite and on matrix of beautiful fine albite. Mm. If I may put oh, a light, you can oh, see look the at color. That. Look at the way it's it lights up. Beautiful green and blue color. Yeah, you have and if very I mean, subtle zoning changes between right. the green and blue there. Yeah. When you're looking at it at the side there, it's yeah, a you can bit see that. You know, usually to, to get this open color, you don't actually need the backlit for it, but you know, the color is so impressive and beautiful. And it's still so nicely on the, on the matrix and, and perfect termination. You can see the termination is really gorgeous, really beautiful. Super. Yeah. And I love on the backside how it's kind of sprinkled in here. So it's yeah. not a full covering, yeah. but it's got a light dusting and that's just, right. that's superb. Look at that right yeah. there. It's beautiful color. Uh, color. Mm. Super, really beautiful color. 
Really nice color. And again, is that a new discovery? That it is a new discovery. Okay. Usually, as you see, Brian, from Paprock Valley, either we have a green tourmaline, either we have a usually bicolor tourmaline or blue. But this one, I, I think this quality indica light with a green touch, you know, I think it's, 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 it's a major find from this locality, I would say. Super. And open color. And like, as you can see, without the back lid, even without the back lid, you can see yeah. the color. It's so beautiful and superb. Great piece. So yeah, that, that was another piece that we found this year. And uh... <clears throat> now, Mustafa, one thing that I noticed that you guys started talking about in Saint Marie yeah. was the fact that if someone bought a specimen from you, right, there is a way that they can be reassured right. that it is a great specimen. Right. If a, I'm sorry, it sounds almost like a used car pitch, but it's right. a money back guarantee. Uh, you know, Brian, I would like to mention something about you said you caught a pitch, you know, because, you know, I thought about this really long about this, uh, this, this topic that we brought 90 days money back guarantee mm -hmm. is because, you know, since me, when I start buying the minerals, I always wanted assurance, something like, you know, if I buy, I have a guarantee. If I buy, I can return the specimen back exactly. or at least I can just trade it with something new that it comes. So because of that assurance by me personally, as a buyer, I thought there got to be something, you know. So I think the only thing that the reason we do that 90, back, uh, 90 days money back guarantee is that, you know, we want the newcomers, the new collectors, yeah, the confident. dealers, yeah. they are like, you know, relaxed. So they know if they buy something within the 90 days, they can return. If they buy something, if next year they come to our show and they see something better, they can give that specimen to us and trade it with a new one. Yeah. So the idea and concept behind that is we want them to be eased, relaxed, not worried when they're just buying anything. So because of that reason, any of our customer buy anything they have a 90 days money back guarantee you, you know? know and it's nice because yeah. it reassures the customers right. and it also is a great way for you to build the relationship with absolutely them, which is such a key thing we say over and over in so, the Brian. mineral industry you need to build the relations with the dealers and, and that's a great way to do it thank you i appreciate that you know you appreciate it as well and to have a cherries on the cake we also have for most of our customers and collectors because usually you know Brian, new customers always come young young generation they don't have a lot of budget right so we have a zero percent interest free installment for them as well i know it sounds crazy but we will do it <laughs> and that's what it's there for for them you know we won't charge any interest they can just purchase whatever they want and they could tell us the installment of their choice and they can pay and you work with them choice you know absolutely Super. and the only reason behind that is of course people will say he wants to sell no selling is important but we want the new generation to feel a little more relaxed to feel comfortable when they're spending their money because as you know this is a luxury product you know it's like yep. you, know, you have to put the money so we want them to be relaxed we want them to know that you know they have nothing to worry about so that's the concept behind the 90 days money back guarantee and zero percent interest free like you know installments uh, that is great again yeah, relationship absolutely. building i Good that's job. what it's all about you know because yeah. uh, you know i remember when i was young how eager i was to own a great specimen but i couldn't but now when i I remember those days like 20 25 years ago when i was 10 and 12 years old i wanted to own something i i realized those people they want to own it Absolutely. so because of that reason we want to make it easy you know that's what it's all about making yeah, it easy for the customers for the young generation for collectors i love it well Good. i see a aquamarine in this case yes. that i'm sure people are going to want to own Let's take a look at this one Absolutely. right in the middle. You know, Brian, there's a lot of aquamarines people just, you know, from Pakistan, they see it around. But what I so like about this piece is, as you can see, it's a beautiful cluster with a specified garnet. If I may pull it out. What I so admire about this piece is you see a tiny little crystals and it's amazing how the miner didn't break it, you know, yeah. and, 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 and took it out intact in such a condition. You know, as I can just, you know, move the 360, the specimen, you can see how beautiful and tiny crystals are right on top of the matrix, of course. And you see this little tiny specitine garnets as well, which, which, which make it look like, I think, very superb. And this is what is all about, Brian, in my opinion. You know, when it comes to a fine mineral specimen, it has to have a nice matrix. Yeah. And then the second thing, it has to have a good contrast, the crystal on matrix. So in this case, you can see a snow white albite, super shiny, red specitine garnets, and then blue aqua. So for me, the contrast is something really amazing on that, that is piece. That a fun piece. You know, it's really, really beautiful piece. And, and this again is new out of the ground. And this is new out of the ground, you know, absolutely new piece. And I think um, I'm very happy to just, you know, 
show this piece as well and the new pieces that we get. And, you know, we have to bear in mind, Brian, there's only a few months between San Marie and Munich. Exactly. You know, to get new things is not easy. It's you not know, easy you have at to all. get it and then you have to prep it and clean it. So we do our best that every show we show to our viewers some new stuff right. because it's very important. That's what they're waiting for, you know, so. You have not disappointed <laughs> so far. Thank you. I, I always try my best, you know, so. You know how important it is. I mean, you even show, shared us things in Denver, I did, which is yeah. more recent oh, than St. Marie. Yes, there you go. And, you know, <laughs> so you it was only one month. month. Back to back. There you it's go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm glad that, you know, we have some new stuff. So talking about the tourmalines, Brian, I've shown some beautiful tourmalines there, but I would like to show this new fine tourmaline from Pakistan, actually. It came from a Rundu mine. I can just pull it out here. You can see it's so beautiful. Usually we don't get the tourmalines from uh, from Pakistan, but in this case, excuse me, my light, you can see it has a beautiful mint green. And what I so like is again, the, the, the albite, snow white albite, super shiny with a smoky quartz. And with again, you can see through from the termination. You can see it like there. You can see through from the termination, yeah. which is amazing. So clear. Yeah. So for us, it's like to find a colorful tourmaline from Pakistan, from Shigar Valley was, I think it was a surprise find. And of course, you can see the contrast, like we discussed before, of the nice green with the lepidolite, with horse and Cleveland night. It, it yeah. makes the contrast really beautiful. So, superb. Yeah. This was one of the other pieces that I wanted to show the viewers. So, yeah. Uh, and as you, as you can see, most of our stuff are priced. And to be honest with you, you know, for example, for a specimen like this, we have priced at 6,500, you know, wow. yeah. So, I mean, that's you know, really quite reasonable. Exactly. You know, a nice piece. Exactly. So 6,500 for a specimen like this, I think in such a condition, in such a shape, I think it's, it's, I, I think it's truly a remarkable piece. And it has a touch of little pink on the top as well, you know? Yeah. Real so, slight yeah. sliver. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you are not disappointing with what you have on Thank exhibit you. here. But yeah. If I know you, you've got a few things tucked away. You know, that's the thing. That's the best thing of the shows that we do. You know, we always have to come up with something tucked <laughs> away. That is the hardest part for me, you know, when we come to the show, because, you know, we have to have something for the viewers. Totally. And when and you have something spectacular, yeah. that's even like, you know, All right, make everything special. Let's go in the so back let's, room. Let's take a go look. in the back room. Okay. That's excellent. All right. Okay. So. So uh, let's start with the small things. I've shown a lot of big pieces. I would like to show, as you know, you know, I've started to doing the worldwide specimens as well, other than Pakistan and Afghanistan. Right. What I would like to show this incredible cube of beautiful fluoride included with quartz. Look at the cubes and the quartz crystals that is just, you know, gone through the... I see clear. Yeah, it's super, super clear. It's like incredible quality you know? and i'm guessing this is Dalnagors. it is Dalnagors. Yeah. yes Dalnagors, russia but you know i've seen a lot of Dalnagors, russia brian but, but you not know, like this not, like not this. So I see water clear exactly with the inclusions of that absolutely death. look at that water clear super water clear with inclusions of quartz the contrast of color and it's like perfect cubes you know yeah, all around great. you can see even the smaller cubes are perfect the other cube is perfect and I love the piece. It's like now these tend to be older, so I'm guessing yeah. this came out of a collection. Yes, it is from the old collection, you know. And I think when I saw it, the moment I saw it, I thought, you know, this is something I should own because of the quality, clarity, and of course the incredible shape. Yeah, that's superb. Yeah, yeah. This was one of the one of the favorite pieces that I have from worldwide specimens. Another piece I would like to pull out, as you know, you know, Brian, Tourmaline, Zachomarines, they're always nice to have, but I always tend to have the rarities, you know, the brilliant minerals, you know, stuff like something that people uh, can admire. What you see here is a beautiful thick crystal of Berlinite on pink lepidolite with a green tourmaline. You can see the tourmaline crystals there. And they are very hard to find a very fine specimens, you know, and I can move it around you can see the pink lip with the light and you can see an incredible termination on on you can see the luster there and that's i mean this is a tough one film yeah just because it's so white the white yeah but maybe i can take the light off maybe it's easy or maybe i can keep it yeah that way 
It's tough to film, but I, mean, I think... Yeah, you can see yeah. the details on it. Right. The parallel growths, just wonderful piece. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, I think it's really remarkable. For beryllium, I love that little touch of green tourmaline yes, in the background. Yes, touch of green tourmaline and with pink lepidolite. And the way the beryllium is sitting so freestanding, with a perfect termination, I think for me, it's one of the finest beryllium on Matrix that I've recently seen in recent years. Superb. Yeah. Again, it's one of them, you know, rarities we have to have for the viewers, for the newcomers, new collectors, so that you can see what they have. So, uh, yeah, that's about it is, you know, right? So I've showed you nearly everything. So I hope you're not going to ask me for anything else, please. Well, I mean, I am curious as to what's underneath no. that. I knew that you're going to say that, that you always have these boxes. <laughs> what is it in there? Maybe it's empty. There's nothing. I don't think so. All right. Okay. So... You're not going to leave me. You know, you want to see everything that I have. Of course, you know, it's a pleasure to show whatever I have is what you guys are going to see here in my career for 32 years that I've been in the business is one of the finest spray of aquamarine on albite with shell. And I have named this aquamarine Aqua Supernova. Aqua Supernova. Supernova. Drum roll. There you go. I want to be careful. I want to treat it as best as I can. Oh, you have There to. you go. So, you ready? Ready. Look at that, Brian. This is what it's all about. You know, the joy, the happiness, the, the, the incredible, you know, what can I say? God, you just you see what it is. Now, I would like to really mention there are a lot of sprays of aquamarine I have seen, Brian, you have seen. But what is so special about this piece is, you know, the static is there, the quality is there. I know you see it and I see it. But what is so special, you see, a beautiful, nice big crystal right in the middle and then very balanced one, two, three, four, five. It's like crystals are all around the main crystal and around that is a little crystals. And I don't know if you noticed that there's a big barrel crystal. That's what I was just yeah. moving the camera big, around big trying to get there. Crystal. And all these sprays grown from that aquamarine it's crystal. It's coming right off the edge. Right off that. And I think the last thing I, want, I would like to mention is usually, Brian, when you see sprays, they're always attached from the bottom. And yeah. you can see the top, the top of the crystals like reattached. But over here, every crystal is individually grown. And the way it's grown is so compound and composed, it's just really amazing. It's like a flower is just it grown is. on the matrix. Because we're used to seeing the big cluster. Right, right. But this, I mean, each crystal is right. cleanly separated. Right. And the fact that it's coming off the side right. of that major barrel crystal that's yeah. right back here. Yes. And then you've got another, you've got another one down and here. Another one there. And then little crystals all around. And, you know, Brian, I would like to pick up the piece because usually, you know, with the videos, people don't realize how how large the size of the crystals and the matrix is. All right. You, you, might, you might need some help there. No, no, I think I'm, I'm going to be... <laughs> You're going to get that by yourself? No, no, I, I'm going to get it by myself. So okay. put the light in there. Yeah. Let me just... So just the viewers can see, you know, the size of it. You know, it, it weighs 30 kilos. Yeah. Shut them up. Look at that now. Jeez. Yes. That, what a difference. Oh my God. Look at that. Ah. So you can see the size, you know. <laughs> you know, my hands are wobbling, but I think I like to, <laughs> I, I, I've, I've got it. So you can see the size of it, like Brian, and the quality is just truly remarkable. It's just the mother's nature's beauty. Absolutely. It's just insane beauty. This thing. is yeah. superb. Yeah. I mean, this truly needs yeah. to be mounted in a case where you Absolutely. can go all the Absolutely. way around it. Absolutely. And you know what? This piece is going to be the centerpiece of special exhibition, you know, which is held in Munich show and is going to go today and is going to be in the opening tomorrow. So, so it's going to be a centerpiece of special exhibition. Well, I have to put it down now. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely pleasure, you know, when I find things like that and a blue, blue cap production, Brian, when you come, it's a, it's a pleasure that I can show things like this for the viewers so they can see what nature produces, you know. This is so happy, fantastic. so happy. Superb. Yeah. Oh, all right. Fantastic, hey? Well, I'm going to take that. <laughs> yeah. I will finance it $100 a month. Okay. Uh, for the rest of my life. All right. And in 90 days, I just might bring it back, but I doubt it. You know, I think it's a good thing. <laughs> I have to think about that, you know.
It's not in every piece that you get that, right? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Stuff, a okay. fantastic job. My thank pleasure. You so Brian, much. thank you very much as always for the brilliant job that you do. It's just unbelievable. Thank you so much and look forward to see you in Tucson with some new beauties. Beautiful. All right. All right. Thank you. Cheers.